All right, how we doing today? I just picked up these big ash rounds. They're about, I don't know, 20, 20 inches, 22 inches across. To, uh, I got a Gravely 20, 22 ton splitter. Um, I flipped it vertical for the first time ever. Um, we're gonna try it out. I've never done it vertical. I'm not 100% convinced it'll handle these rounds, but we're gonna try it out and see what happens. Um, gotta open the gas in it, but we're gonna try it out. I guess it's not not bent over as much as I thought I'd be, but but we're gonna we're gonna give her a whirl and uh, see what happens. I got six of these rounds. I don't think I'm gonna split all of them, but we'll split at least one or two and see what happens. Uh, and we're pretty heavy getting them up, but it wasn't too horrible, man. But here we go, let's try this out. my wedge into get it a little closer you know if you can get in that already you know the cracks are already there naturally from drying out it should help it split easier I think Yeah, 
pieces look pretty nice. I was actually concerned with that being as big a piece as it was. Them are some pretty hefty pieces of wood. I mean, you can see, I mean, that's a quarter. So, I mean, yeah, probably about eight inches across, 16-ish. Some of them, I mean, that's a bigger piece. I can't spread my hand across that. But them are some good pieces of wood, so... Yeah, I mean, going vertical, uh, I mean, I can see it taking a toll on your back, being bent over, but it, uh, what's that one, Easton Made, Easton Made makes a, a splitter called an Axis, there's other companies that make them, I've been watching these videos on these Easton Maids, the guy's out of Canada, I think, Andrew Easton is his name, tell you what, if I could afford to get one of them, what's called an Axis, is their vertical splitter, Man, if I could afford to get me one of them, I want to say they're like eight or ten grand. They're pretty expensive, but I definitely understand going vertical, having your workstation, you know, waist high. That way you can just slide your wood across and split it. It's got like a foot pedal on it, not a hand lever like that, but I definitely see the advantage of that. But, you know, this, it works all right. Big pieces like that, they don't want to pick up. See, now they're quarters. They're manageable size pieces. I'll pick that up and split it down the rest of the way but that'll be done on a later day not today maybe tomorrow maybe sunday i don't know today's friday so maybe saturday maybe sunday i don't know i gotta work tonight you know no rest for the wicked so but we'll keep splitting wood and making piles so yeah keep living the best life hard work pays off i'm telling you what this is where it gets you heat my whole house for a winter free free Hear that? Free. Everybody likes free. I don't know. I used to spend fifteen hundred, two grand a month. I don't miss a or not not a month, a year. About fifteen hundred to two thousand dollars a year to heat my house and I mean a little bit of gas, a little bit of hard work, a little bit of chainsaw oil, you know. A little bit of time. It pays off. Keep living that best life. We'll catch you around.